Hello, I'm Damian Mitchell. The People's National Party says it will announce the location of its next mass meeting by Thursday morning. There is heightened speculation that Prime Minister Portia Simpson Miller will announce the date of the next general election at a meeting this week in Halfway Tree, St. Andrew. Dancehall artist Dexter Daps and his 39-year-old driver, Essen Richards, have been freed of assault and other charges arising from a fight involving a policeman in Montego Bay earlier this year. Resident Magistrate Anne-Marie Barnes freed the men after the court was told that the policeman was no longer interested in pursuing the case. A new ice cream parlor is to be built at Devon House in St. Andrew with money from the Tourism Enhancement Fund. It's part of a $28 million renovation and upgrading project at Devon House, geared at transforming Kingston into a tourist mecca. The Bank of Jamaica says the Jamaican dollar is no longer overvalued and is therefore less prone to unpredictable depreciation. It's now costing 119 Jamaican dollars and 82 cents for the benchmark U.S. dollar. In sports, Jamaican Usain Bolt has been named among the three shortlisted male candidates for the IAAF World Athlete of the Year for 2015. The American pair of Ashton Eaton and Christian Taylor are the other men's finalists. In your weather forecast, Friday morning will be partly cloudy across northern parishes. In the afternoon, there will be isolated showers and thunderstorms, mainly across hilly inland areas. And that's it for the Gleaner Minute. I'm Damian Mitchell.